Good day and welcome. I'm McKnight from Gamer and we are playing Horizon Zero Dawn. So without any further ado, let's continue. Uh, figure out this. That's box. light. It's purple. Can we travel now like normal people? Oh. 
not much gets past them. I think I'm in the clear. I hope so. Good hit. Here they come. Corrupted watchers.
done what I can with the constant spell of corruption. Time to see if the Karja Fort will let me pass over the mountains. Bandit camp, where is it? to my destination okay I'm at some sort of base camp thing at midweek Let's see what's going on here okay go to the car job border for Attacks the Karja Fort. A corruptor. me. Truly, the sun shines upon us this day. Isn't the sun risking its ass down here? <laughs> so, will you open the gate for me now? <laughs> you heard her! Open the gates! And send word to Captain Balan. Where are you headed, girl? To West! To Meridian! The way of broken stones is a hard run, even in the best of times. You might want to have a word with Captain Balan. He came from Meridian not long ago. You find him in the fort, on a balcony to the left overlooking the valley. Okay, thanks. We're the ones who should be thanking you for taking down those machines. Walk in light, Nora.
city guard the other day. Amazing. That's all there is in Banuke Lands. A bustling day. I heard you talking about trouble in Banuke Lands. <sighs> Was that out loud? Ears must be getting worn down from all those long leg blasts. But you heard right. I'm fresh back from the cut, looking for better scavenging and better shards. I guess you didn't find them up there? <laughs> Not with the Banuke wailing about new machines and talking spirits and their purses frozen shut. What's a trade route without trade? It's just a... route. There's a trade route? I thought the Banuke kept to themselves. Uh, we Osiram and the Banuke are neighbors, after all. What's a few mountain ranges between friends? I have some acquaintances out there, still trying to dig a living out of the ice, but... They say nothing seems to stick. All the superstitious nonsense and rampaging machines aren't helping. What were these new machines and spirits? Honestly, I don't even know. Going by the number of Banuke funerals, I'd say the kind you turn away from. Not really my style. Well, if you reach my grand old age, you might prefer picking up after hunters in the Sundom. It's warmer, too. What is this place, the Cut? When the Karja took up swords and hacked away at the edge of Banuke land, they left the Cut behind. So a battleground from the war. Like the valley outside the sacred land. Mm-hmm. Mountain pass in the far north and east will get you there. It's open to outlanders, hardy ones, like you. Just don't expect much of a welcome. Especially not now. New machines and talking spirits? I'm interested. Thought as much, just looking at you. Don't say you weren't warned. There's a slip of a trail through the northeastern mountains past what we call the Grave Horde. You won't miss it. You'll find what passes for a town on the other side. Maybe someone there can talk you out of it. Maybe. Maybe not. Thanks for the information. Captain Blon, I have questions for you. First, about another Nora woman who might have come through here. And second, about the trail to Meridian. What can I expect on the way? Well, it was definitely another Nora. No way I'd forget that. She caused... an incident. As for what to expect on the trail, nothing good. More machines all the time, and our scouts report corruption that way as well. So much for sealing things off. Keep to the roads. They're safe enough. Though after what you did at the gate, I'll wager you don't scare easy. It's a good quality. I could put it to use, if you don't mind a quick jaunt back east. I know it's bold of me to ask a favor after you just did one, but... I can offer you answers in return. If there's anything you need to know about the Sundom. What do you need, Captain? I sent several patrols east when we got word of corrupted machines there. I'll let them confirm my fears so I sealed the gates. But it looks like we left some men behind when they were closed. Walid, tell her what happened. Machines attacked us near an abandoned Nora village, sir. Lakir told us to pull back. Then I lost sight of the others. Never seen a Nora woman before, soldier? Have some respect. Report to her, not to me. Lakir always stresses reporting back, so that's what I did. I felt terrible about leaving them behind. Well, now that the gates are open again, I can send someone after them. Where do things stand between your tribe and the Nora now? Sun King of Vod wants peace. So do the Matriarchs, I'm told. But old wounds are slow to mend, and both tribes are proud. My task is to make sure there are no further provocations from the Sundom. Especially now, after... Well... While your people recover from this terrible attack, I mean... What is this place, exactly? 
Day Tower marks the eastern edge of Karja territory. A trading post, a way station. One with an ugly reputation among your people. During the reign of the last Sun King, many Nora were taken captive, then gathered here for transport to Meridian and sacrifice. But the sun set on that. I was appointed by the Sun King of Vod to make sure old Karja at this outpost show respect to the Nora. What's Meridian like? It's a changed place. A living city. Nothing like it was during the rule of Sun King Juran. Avad, our new king, has done all he can to make sure of that. Slavery has been abolished. There's a new alliance with the Azuram. And the Sun Ring, where so many outlanders were killed, is now a memorial to the Fallen. So the Karja are allied with the Azuram? Hard to believe, but it's true. Mad Sun King Juran raided the Azuram for years. Avad managed to get them on his side. He had help, of course. Ursa and Eren played a part. Azaram's siblings, bigger than life. Hmm. They gathered an army to free Meridian. I marched with them. Scaled the North Cliff with my men and secured the Temple of the Sun. Sent Juran's kestrels and priests packing. Now Azaram are a common sight in the city. And a common sound, too. They sure bicker a lot. It sounds as though you approve of the new Sun King. He is the Chosen of the Sun. And what the Sundom needs after ten years of war. A calming light, not a scouring one. Sun King Juran would shed blood at any slight. For Sun King Avad, that's a last resort. Lucky for those who slight him. Some whisper in the shadows that he's weak. No. Peace is strength, as the sun shall show. I'll see what I can do about your missing men. I will be grateful. But not as grateful as Walid. You hear that, Lunkhead? You might be off the hook. Fine goods <laughs> for a fair price. Might be off the hook. I'll sleep well tonight. Oh, I like I can sell my stuff. Corruption spreads. More summer stays are coming. Okay. And now I have to travel for getting soaked from melted snow. Cool. I think I'm gonna call the episode here. Yeah? I'm gonna say thank you for watching. Please remember to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel if you like my content, and I will see you in the next video. Stay safe and happy gaming. Goodbye.